Hi Jurassic Katie's Wayne here. Today we're going to draw the Vans logo, so let's get started. To draw this Vans logo, let's first start by drawing the V. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to start with an angle. So by right here I'll start. And this is going to be the, uh, I guess the inside of the V. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit um, narrower. And I'm going to come right across from the center. So about right here, just easier for my hand to come down. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it. And remember, draw so cuties, we are doing this freehand, so it it's not going to be exactly the same proportions, but we just want to aim to, when you look at it, it looks like the Vans logo. That's all we're aiming for. <laughs> okay, so from there, let's come out right here. And definitely use a pencil if you can, if you have one at home, instead of a Sharpie so you can make any adjustments. Okay, so from there, our goal is to have the same thickness for all the letters. That's the goal right here. So I'm going to start by right this much thickness and I'm going to come down following this angle. So come down about right there. About that much. And this logo is a lot easier to draw because the letters are not too fancy and everything is black. So if I need to make any adjustments, it's easy to do that to go in there. So about that much and I'll come to the other side and do the same thing. So about the same thickness and basically follow my angle and connect. There. So we got our V in, right? Okay, so then from there, there's this long stripe that comes across, right? So let's do that a little bit of it now so we have something to go by. Let me get my camera, make sure I'm going straight. So same thickness, so say about right here. About right here. And I know it's, I have these letters underneath this stripe, so I'm going to go out, but not too much. So I'll stop about right there. And then I'll start with the A. So the A is right under here. We follow the V. So give it a little bit space. So say about right here, I'll start this corner right here. And then we're just following the V, nice and easy. And once again, I mean nice and simple, not easy. So once again, about the same thickness, same width, and we're going to bring it down. So mimicking this angle on this side, about that much. And we're all aiming for the same level going straight across. So to make it easier, I'm going to come down by right here, give myself a center point, follow the angles, and connect. And come down a little bit more. Right here. And connect straight across. So if you're using a pencil, you would just take this point and draw all the way down and then add the two lines. Okay, so we have an A in. Now for the N. So right next to the A, so I'll start at the bottom right here and go all the way up. So it's about right here. And just like the A, right across. And the same, about the same thickness width. Not that much. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle here. Make it a little bit easier. And the reason I'm able to do these lines right here is because, like I said, it's all solid black, so I can just go in there and shade it and it won't matter. So like drawing this line doesn't matter either because it makes it a little bit easier. So I'll come across a little bit once again and draw another rectangle. Same exact thing. Okay, so then now to draw the angle. So from here, we're going to come down. And following the same, so about right here, down to this point. So we have the N in. So now the S. So the S is a little bit trickier. 
Mm, so about right here, okay. So I'm gonna start right here because I want the S to be really close to the end so that way I can make sure I am. So I'm gonna add a curve first right there and start. And so just remember it's about the same width. So we got that curve. Okay, so then about right here I'll stop, bring in a line. And now I'm going to start to go a curve. And just remember we want about the same thickness. And we're ending down right here. Just keep that in mind. And bring it down. So about right here. So continue, follow your curve, go up. There, we did it. So yes, the S is a lot trickier than the other letters. Um, so then now that we know where the S is, we can go ahead and finish this line. So bring it all the way through. And it ends right where the S ends. And this goes all the way through. And then we're going to give it a slight slant. So it's going to go past it. And about right here, I'll stop and add an angle, same as this. And that is pretty much it. So I'm going to come in here and um, shade everything in black and make any adjustments I need to make to make lines a little bit straighter or thicker, whatever needs to be done to fix it. So they're all done. I really hope I made it a little bit easier for you to draw this Vans logo and um, I helped you out. And if I did, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.